we will present a highly effective method for removing tartar and preventing its return. However, before we proceed with the demonstration, we kindly request that you take a moment to show your support by liking this video and subscribing to our channel. Tartar, a hardened and yellowish buildup that forms on the inner surfaces of teeth and can penetrate the gums, leading to gingivitis and unpleasant breath, will be our focus. Essentially, tartar consists of a cluster of bacteria residing within a solidified slimy substance. This calcification process is a natural defense mechanism employed by microorganisms, as the majority of bacteria in nature thrive in the form of biofilms. To better understand biofilms, imagine walking in a forest and stumbling upon a stream. If you lift a rock from the stream bed, you'll notice a slippery coating on its outer surface. That's a biofilm. Similarly, Insufficient chlorine levels or specific salts in swimming pools can result in a slimy residue at the bottom, which also constitutes a biofilm. Biofilms consist not only of bacteria but also fungi, yeast, and candida. These microorganisms feed on carbohydrates present in your mouth and produce lactic acid, which acidifies the oral environment. Acidic conditions can erode your teeth by leaching calcium leading to cavities and other dental problems. In this video, we will introduce an exceptional homemade toothpaste that serves as a potent anti-tartar agent. Not only is it cost-effective, but it also relies on natural ingredients. It is intriguing to note that when examining the dental health of ancient Egyptian mummies, significant tooth damage was observed, likely attributed to the consumption of beer and bread which created a favorable environment for bacterial growth. However, they utilized a toothpaste made from burnt eggshells, ashes from ox hooves, and volcanic ash, a mixture that likely provided some level of abrasiveness. Ancient Greeks used a toothpaste consisting of burnt shells, powdered talc, a blend of magnesium and silicon, salt, and honey. The Romans, on the other hand, relied on crushed bones, oyster shells, charcoal, and a touch of bark. However, these formulas possessed abrasive qualities that could wear down teeth. Our toothpaste recipe, on the contrary, is non-abrasive and incorporates ingredients such as clove oil, peppermint oil, cinnamon oil, or turmeric powder. Simply add three drops of one of these oils or a pinch of turmeric to a small container. Next, include a quarter teaspoon, approximately 1.25 milliliters, of hydrogen peroxide. Interestingly, our bodies naturally produce hydrogen peroxide as a defense against bacteria and microbes, so it is a familiar substance. Hydrogen peroxide serves as a potent antimicrobial agent that hampers the formation of biofilms. Baking soda is the next ingredient, which might initially feel gritty, but it possesses lower abrasiveness compared to regular toothpaste. On the relative dentin abrasivity scale, where regular toothpaste falls between 70 and 250, baking soda rates at a mere 7. Therefore, it will not harm your teeth. Baking soda, also known as sodium bicarbonate, adds alkalinity to the mixture, neutralizing the acids produced in your mouth. Additionally, you can choose to include either raw honey or manuka honey, but only a quarter teaspoon. Raw honey contains hydrogen peroxide, while manuka honey possesses additional compounds that regular raw honey lacks, making it more effective against biofilms. Finally, pour half a cup, 118 milliliters, of water into the mixture and thoroughly combine all the ingredients. Use a toothbrush with soft bristles to brush your teeth using this toothpaste twice a day. This approach will help maintain the health of your teeth while eliminating the film that develops into tartar. Thank you for watching our video. We encourage you to share your thoughts in the comments section below, subscribe to our channel, and stay tuned for more content.